Okay, we are heading to Houston. I'm gonna go pick up a trailer. We are in Kansas right now. Houston, Texas. There's a couple other ones here too. But oh, let's see, 10, 49. Wait, that goes all the way to Los Angeles. Yeah, we're not driving that. 
this one already is uh, we're expected by Saturday. What is today? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll take that job. I have. 
Netflix the other day for the first time in probably over a year. I'm trying to get through some watching some videos on there and then I'll probably get rid of that after a while and then I'll get that uh, the Apple Apple TV. I've never had Apple TV before. But there's some shows on there that um, Masters of the Sky, uh, World War II, the one that's uh, the executive producer and stuff, like Band of Brothers, Pacific, and stuff like that. They're a couple of my favorite series. Well, Band of Brothers uh, in Pacific, I haven't really watched through yet. It's it is on Netflix. So I'll probably watch it. Um, and I've watched Band of Brothers countless times. Masters of the Sky. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. No, it looks really good. So I'll be getting Apple TV once those are all released. I'm not sure if it's coming, like, if it's going to be a full release of the series. Or if it's going to be one of those where you have to wait a week to get the next episode. So I'll kind of check into that. And if it is, then I'll just wait to get Apple TV once I... Um, once they're all released. And then I can go and binge watch it. Not really sure what else there is on Apple TV that I don't want to watch. The only other show that I've kind of seen, you know, like, <laughs> that's on Apple TV that kind of caught my eye was that, oh, that series I. I think it's called I. It's where they're the whole Everybody in the world is blind except for like one woman or some one girl. That looked interesting. It's got the guy that played um, that was on Stargate Atlantis, and he was um, Aquaman. He's Aquaman. That looked kind of interesting. that I haven't really looked through any of the other shows that are on on there. by now. 
how I'd be running the shoreline, but if there's going to be slush on the night, you know, on the lake with my vintage snowmobiles, it doesn't do well with the, with slush. It gets stuck pretty easy. It's only six inches of suspension. Last year, we had a total of 10 feet of snow throughout the season. And this season, it seemed like we are going to get 10 inches of snow, maybe throughout the whole season, which really sucks, because I, I love snow. Plus, when there's snow, I'm in better shape, because I'm out with snow blowing and shoveling and snowmobiling. time to 
gather resources because the first wave is coming and I'm like, oh my goodness, the wave. At least it's not, the only plus side was it wouldn't be, I don't think it would be zombies. Because to tell you the truth, zombies are starting to get a little, <laughs> it's like they're, that they're doing it to death, you know.
negative, it was like negative 12 yesterday morning, negative 15 the day before, which is good for the for the ice. Help building on it, but with the snow on it, kind of even with that that cold, it's being insulated with the snow, so it's not freezing as good as it could. And that's another reason why I've been out making snowmobile videos, even though I can around the yard and stuff. trying to reach over there and feel my Forty-four. That's not too bad. That'll. It'll 
be getting daylight not too long.
drive and it's like
my district in sales. So that's why I was getting promoted so quickly. So I, um, once I quit, once I got finished with that, um, you know, I was a system manager at the time when I was, yeah, when I was moved up to store manager of the store two, an hour and a half away or so. And, um, I got back to my store. My manager was going to be moving to a new store, so and I had a position of store old home was being opened up in Downers Grove, which is 45 minutes away or something like that from my house. And I'm like, oh, I was going to take it because it was, you know, it was a step up. I was going to have my own store and everything. And somebody else was going to be promoted to my store that I was currently at. That was only like 15 minutes from my house. Then, fortunately, which kind of sucks, but for you know, the manager the assistant that was getting promoted to manager of the store that I was going to be going to, that was going to be coming to my store. This one, oh, the assistant that was being promoted to be brought to the store I was currently at as assistant, he got caught stealing, so he got fired. So they were like, well, instead of moving you away from this store, as soon as manager, we'll just promote you in this store, which worked out great, because then I was the GM of the store that I was from. It was like, that was my mall, the mall I was lived right close to. So then I was store manager there, which I was working 80 hours a week, and because they were cutting my employees' hours all the time, and well, sure enough, it was gonna make up the hours if, uh... Yeah, oh, okay. Um, we needed the people at the store, so I was the one that always had to make up the hours for the people, you know, because they cut the hours. And I, I figured it, at one point, it was like I was making less than my lowest paid part-timer. <laughs> Hourly, because we had no overtime. It was, you got paid for 40 and you worked whatever you needed to work, which still feels really illegal <laughs> to me. Um, and as assistant manager, you got paid time and a half for any time over. So say I made 10 bucks an hour as assistant, anything over 40, I'd make 15 for those those hours over the 40. But as a store manager, I was making $13 an hour. And if I worked anything over 40, I still made $13 an hour. Which didn't make sense. At all. Because I didn't get paid for anything over 40, so... <laughs> I 
first. So I went from 13 down to 1050, but I was coming in as just a full timer. I wasn't supervisor or anything. So I was in TVs making 1050, and I'm like, okay, well, I can't live on this. And I need to, because I was, my bills were 11 for, for, for $13. I was making $13 an hour. So, I was like, okay, I gotta get moved up quick here, you know. So they, he bumped me up pretty quickly, which was nice. They got me, um, became a, a senior, which is the third. There's supervisor, assistant supervisor, and uh, the senior, which is third level management in a department. Uh, so I, I moved to cellular. So I was selling cell phones, basically cell phones and PDAs and all that fun stuff. So I was doing that for a couple months and then I went to computers and I was in computer for quite a few months and then I went to Super assistant, the um, was a senior anymore. I was a assistant, or uh, I was a supervisor, assistant supervisor. I think it was. You remember the titles for some reason. Um, of the uh, media department, you know, you know, software and uh, CDs and DVDs and um, all that stuff. In that department for quite a while, and then I went to audio, car audio. So I was selling car audio for a couple months, and I did home theater for a couple months, and then I went back to um, computers again for quite a while as an assistant. And you know, all this time I wasn't getting any raises, which there for three years so I was out looking again because it just I was getting tired of our old GM had left and policies were changing like crazy and they were not improving work conditions were getting bad and stuff so I was what looking for another job and before I knew what target was you know like how, what a horrible place it was to work. I was, uh, went to Target making more money. 1375. The funny thing is, when I, the, like, right when I gave my two weeks notice at Best Buy, they gave me a raise to 1335 <laughs> an hour. So I'm like, okay, um, now you give me a raise. Now, right when I give my two weeks notice. I don't know if they were trying to get me to stay. I think that's what it was. But I'm like, well, I'm going to be making 1375 at at Target as a supervisor. So um, I left, went to Target in November. So it was like two, three weeks to Christmas or to, to Thanksgiving. And nobody really trained me. I was supervisor of the, um, the electronics department. And Thanksgiving came, the day, you know, day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Get to work at like four in the morning, and there was no supervisors except for me there. I'm like, I've been here two weeks, no training, and they threw me in as the only supervisor for the whole store. I mean, I, and I was for electronics. I was in, I was in um, hard lines or soft line, yeah, you know, hard lines or whatever it was. Yeah, and so they had me supervise the whole store. And I had no idea what I was doing yet because I was only there two weeks. Um, and then Christmas season came through. Store hours, once they went back to normal, the day after store hours went back to, I called into the office. It's like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, you're not really target material, so yeah, we're going to let you go. So I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of bull crap. <laughs> I'm like, what are you, <laughs> what's the what does target material even mean you know um and then a week later i found in the paper my job from that location starting 
at like 975 and I was making 1375 so I'm oh that's why you fired me because you brought me in telling me it was a full time position that was not Christmas help and that's what pulled me away from Best Buy and fired me because I was making more money than anybody else so that's the reason <laughs> so that's why I haven't shopped in Target ever again since then because it just uh, that was real that was real low <laughs> but okay well let's see I uh, kind of got into that story and kind of lost track of what I was doing in the game here uh, Pittsburgh to Houston 642 miles took 22 hours um, used 134 gallons and we've got 1,300 XP and we got $11,947 good and we did get promoted up so let's finish up our distance so we should be able to drive anywhere on the map now so it's level six is sort of anywhere 30 percent higher rewards and delivering distance longer than 12 2500 miles nice okay let's save it for the future here got our mod save okay well thank you so much for watching I appreciate it uh, you know, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to smash the like button. Say something in the comments. Um, even if you just say hi, um, say hi, and yeah, I do enjoy watching this. That that way, I know it's worth producing uh, this form of content with the driving simulator and stuff. Because uh, I got to focus on the games that are going to get more views, more people enjoy them, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, share the videos and things like that, also. Okay, well, thank you to Chris and thank you, Heather, for definitely for being channel members and supporters of the channel. Um, hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, if you are thinking about helping out with the channel, I'd really appreciate it. It's, you know, it's an expensive venture and this is my only income right now, so um, I need it to, to work. <laughs> um, so I do do su uh, super thanks. Uh, for like one time uh, helps donations kind of thing and we do have the members um, where you get exclusive videos and you get um, things like channel tags and um, mention you in all the videos and mention you know put your you know in the descriptions and stuff like that so. okay well thank you so much for all the all the help and I hope you're enjoying the content have a great rest of your day